Okay, Flash students, um, today we're going to learn about um, how to make a play button. Uh, this is a really exciting uh, feature of Flash that's a lot of fun and gives the user, when they're finally going to sit down and view your document, um, a way to control when things get started. So, you know, if you're making something like an e-card or a cartoon or something, it's sometimes fun to add a button on there that lets the user just say, hey, you know, I want to start this right now. Um, and then, of course, in future lessons, you can learn how buttons can control different aspects of your animation and jump around and uh, take you to other areas, and that's useful too. But today, we're just going to look at a very basic play button. So, um, as you can see here, I already have an animation in. So, it's just of a blue circle rolling left to right. So, not very exciting. But this is going to emulate what some of your animations will look like that you already have probably multiple layers of things happening in here already. But we need to add a play button on top of it at the very beginning. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to just create a new layer. So, I'm going to click on insert layer here. And I'm going to name it button just so we're clear as to what it is. Then I'm going to click in the very first keyframe here, and I need to make a new keyframe. So you all remember that you do that by pressing F6, and there it is. So I'm going to click on that keyframe to highlight it, uh, make sure that we're animating in that very first keyframe. Okay, now we're actually going to make a button, and this is where all of you who like to design crazy things can really go crazy with this. So um, I'm going to keep it simple. Let's make a nice little rectangle here. I'm going to put some text in it. This is play. Oh man, we can't have it be the same color. So let's have it be blue. Very nice. Okay, so right now, um, this is going to be my play button, but right now it's composed of two different things. We have the red box and we have the word play. So in order for this to work together as one button, we have to group them together. So the way you do that is by selecting both items and then clicking Control G to group it. And you can see that as soon as I did that, a uh, blue box went around the whole thing, indicating that they're both now considered as one single item. So that's very useful. Okay, the next thing to do is uh, to convert this over into being something that the animation can use to control your movie. So we do that by going up to Modify and then Convert to Symbol. And good. Um, so wh what we want it to say is the type. We want this to be a movie clip. And this is confusing because we are creating a button, but Flash thinks of buttons as being something else. So we're not picking button here. and We're not picking graphic. We want this to be a movie clip. And we're going to name it Play Button. Confusing, but that's just the way it is. So I'm going to hit OK. And here it goes. You can see up in my library that it's added Play Button as a movie clip. That's good. Okay, with the play button still selected, I'm going to come down here to Actions. And this is something that we haven't done much of in our class yet, so you'll have a chance to learn something new. Um, this Actions panel here can be very confusing as it's very deep um, and offers a lot of options for you in controlling things. And uh, in future Flash classes, you'll learn a lot more about that. But for today, I'm going to give you a little cheater piece of code that you're just going to cut and paste. So you'll see that there's a document also in the folder that I'll include. And the very first thing that you want to do is this little hunk of code right here. You want to select all of this, then right click and copy it. And we'll click over in our Flash Action Script panel, and I'm going to paste it right there. Perfect. Okay, let's uh, minimize this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click out of, um, away from the button, just over here. Um, you know, so when we could look around, hopefully um, this is all white up here, so that when you scrub the timeline back and forth, that play button isn't anywhere except on the first frame. That's exactly the way we want it to be. So going back to the first frame, I'm going to click this um, keyframe here to indicate that we want to fix this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the actions. And you'll see that it's blank here again. And it, it's a little confusing, um, but what we need to do is we need to go back to our document. And I want you to just get this little bit of code right here. Stop, two parentheses, and a semicolon. We're going to copy it and come back here and we're going to paste it in there. Okay? So what you should have at this point 
is um, all of your layers with your animations going on. Then you should have a layer that says button. And the only keyframe that has anything on it is the first keyframe. And because it has an action script in, which is what you just added, it's going to be black with a little white A on the top to indicate an action script. So what we're going to do is we're going to test this by doing control, enter. And here's our movie. So let's see if this works. So when I come down here and I hover over the button, you'll see that my cursor changes to the finger. So I'm going to click play and our movie starts. Okay. So um, one thing to look out for is that if you create a button that is just text, the problem with that is that um, the user can only click on the exact text itself in order to get the movie to play. But if you make a big button like a square or a shape and you fill it with uh, a color inside, then it gives a larger target to start your play. Okay, so um, that's just something to look out for. So I hope you have uh, some s success with making this movie, and I uh, can't wait to see your play buttons. All right, good luck.